The 109th Airlift Wing of the New York Air Force National Guard connects climate scientists to their research outpost in Greenland. But we're the only unit in the world that flies the specialized LC-130 aircraft, which allows us to support the scientific efforts and take these large airplanes and land them on skis. So we're flying over the mountains, it takes us right up to Kangaroo Swag. It's really beautiful. Once the front line of the Cold War for the U.S. military, the Kangaroo Lusak Airport is now the staging ground for an international effort to reconstruct climate history and learn more about global warming. The 109th trains to fly in extremes. We have what we call Cool School, which is located at a site about 150 miles from where we're standing now out on the ice cap, where we train flight crews to operate and survive in that extremely austere Arctic polar conditions. Weather that could include a whiteout. Whiteout is uh, where you have zero, zero, which means uh, we have zero visibility and zero ceiling. And that's where I start looking into the radar. Coming in on an approach, we're looking at flags out there that have metal mesh in them, and that helps me to pick them up on the radar. Everything here at the Ice Core Research Camp arrived courtesy of the LC-130. It's, uh, it's an honor to be associated with that research that's really uh, you know, impacting how we view the world and how we're going to treat the world. For the Weather Channel, I'm Dr. Heidi Cullen with Climate Central and Storm Center Communications.